piety is the quality of being religious. But what does this entail? Hopefully at the time that you are viewing this, you have been able to receive the Eucharist spiritually, prayed for our fellow frontliners and healthcare workers, and recited a perfect act of contrition at least once during this quarantine period. If you have been able to do these things, then great, you're pious. But seriously, these are just a few examples of how you can practice this virtue during this time of isolation. By writing this reflection, I had come to realize that I am the most pious when I am praying with my family as compared to when I am alone. Knowing this, I need to learn how to incorporate the same level of piousness that I experience when I am with my family into the moments of my life when I am alone with God. My family has a new tradition where we reflect on the Gospel every Sunday after Mass. I find it interesting to know how the rest of my family interprets the Gospel reading of the day, with their insights helping me to understand the Bible better. To me, the best way to foster the virtue of piety is not only listening to God's message, but to act on them. Let it reflect in your daily life. Let it inspire you to reach out to those who need you need to know that God loves them too. Let him course through your veins to become an instrument of his kingdom. When we were created, God gave us free will to do as we please on this earth. It is what we choose to do with our free will to honor him and the sacrifice of his son on the cross. There are those who reflect on the readings daily. There are those who say a prayer after waking up and before going to bed. And there are those who are strong enough to get themselves out of bed early to attend the morning masses. By choosing to devote some of our time within the day to our Lord, we are humbling ourselves before Him. With this being said, we must keep in mind that we must honor Him as wholeheartedly, fervently, and as honestly as we can. Not just because my family is doing it, so I must do it, or because my school made us do it before. No. We need to give Him 100% of ourselves, and really mean it. If we can give ourselves completely to chatting with friends, playing video games, and binge-watching movies and TV shows every day, we can definitely put, it, put aside some time to give ourselves completely to Him in prayer. With this quarantine keeping us distant from our friends and families, forcing us to connect with them via Zoom and other online measures, how do you plan to stay connected with your best friend up above? i
my breath, you're my life.